Hey, what's happening, everybody? So if you don't know, Ethereum is my largest holding in my crypto portfolio. Absolutely love where ETH is heading, especially with Ethereum 2.0 moving to a proof of stake. Now, uh, one thing to kind of recap in 2021, Ethereum grew at about 6x compared to Bitcoin this past year. Uh, so Bitcoin had a fantastic year, but Ethereum even had a better year. And a lot of that has to do just with more adoption right now of Ethereum, its use cases, uh, the fact that it helps pretty much run everything when it comes to transactions with Uniswap, right? Uh, and a lot of the assets that you need out there, you need to swap with Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum is a mainstay in the NFT space. A lot of NFTs, uh, you need Ethereum to purchase. So that trend will continue, but the use cases will still pile on in 2022, and proof of stake is really going to help Ethereum. Ethereum is also going to go through a triple halving, and they are also slowly burning tokens, which came about uh, in August with the EIP-1559 upgrade. So uh, there are so many reasons to be bullish about Ethereum. Raul Paul, Raul Paul, somebody I really trust in the space. I'm going to take a quick sip. Raul Paul, somebody I really trust in the space, says it's the best trade of the decade. And I tend to agree with him. That is why it is my largest holding. Now, how will Ethereum be transformed in 2022? Big question here. All right. So with 2021 winding down, 2022 hopes to be even bigger for Ethereum and for the entire crypto market. Now, moving to proof of work, and I'm going to kind of just paraphrase here. I'm not going to read these verbatim, but... The first one talks about lower energy consumption, okay? And what this means is uh, Ethereum moving to proof of stake, moving away from proof of work. Uh, it predicts that the after the merge, the network will use at least 99.95% .95 less energy than it did before by moving to proof of stake. Also, the gas fees are going to be lowered, and I know a lot of people are excited about that. Uh, deflationary Ether. Ethereum will become a deflationary asset, okay? So uh, an Ethereum research report modeled the impact, the combination of EIP-1559, the slow burn of Ethereum, and proof of stake will have on Ether circulating supply. It will become a deflationary asset, okay? The current supply is sitting at 118 million ETH and is slightly inflationary after the addition of EIP-1559. But that will change to a deflationary asset, which will drive the price of Ethereum up. Same execution layer, okay? So Ethereum's current execution layer will be ported over to the proof of stake, Ethereum 2.0 consensus layer, and supported by the clients that are currently in charge of ETH1, okay? Increased similar transaction fees, okay? While, possible, while impossible to predict, it's entirely possible that transaction fees will initially increase or remain the same post-merge, but over time, they will slowly decrease, okay? And fifth, a road of decentralization, decentralization and scalability. So running a validator on the beacon chain requires 32 ETH, an upfront investment of over 120,000 at current prices. While this is not a low barrier to entry, it still removes the economy of scale that exists in mining proof-of-work chains. So what Ethereum will be enabling is any user with average hardware to profitably run an Ethereum validator uh, under the proof of stake protocol. Okay, so that's what we've got for you here on Ethereum. I am very, very bullish on ETH moving forward. Okay, now uh, a lot of people will say Solana is the new thing. Cardano is going to kill ETH and I own both of those. So I don't look to pick one or the other. I own way more ETH than both of those, but I do own both of those as well, uh, Solana and Cardano, because I think there will be more than one winner in the space, right? So let's face it. Um, sure, Ethereum, I think, will have a large portion of the market share, but I think Solana will too. Uh, and I think Cardano will too, right? So that's how I'm playing it. I want all of these uh, various smart contract uh, platforms and... Um, yeah. So that's what I've got for you here in this video. Ethereum, still very bullish on it. And I love it heading into 2022 with so many things happening around Ethereum, again, with proof of stake 
it becoming deflationary. The EIP 1559 is slowly burning Ethereum. The triple halving coming. My oh my, Ethereum uh, at some point is going to really explode uh, because it's all going to come to a head uh, with how many people have got into ETH in 2021. So that's what I've got for you here in this update. Thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate it. All I ask, hit that thumbs up if you got some value. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and I will see you in the next video.